you doing in my room? I'm just playing. Just give me a sec. Alright, done. What do you want? It's like already midnight. Please go to sleep. I know I'm not supposed to stay up this late at night, but it doesn't give you the right to go into my room this late. Please, get out of my room. What? What are you doing in my room? Please, go away. Why are you on my bed? Please, get out of my bed. So what? Just get a glass of milk, put it in the microwave for about a minute, and drink it. There. Easy as pie. Now please, go away. And why do you chose to stay in my room? Oh, yeah, that happened to me, but it, it was real. That was before we became step-siblings. I do remember someone breaking into our house. I don't know if I want to talk about the rest of it, it's pretty sad. Oh well, it's just, <sighs> all right. Someone broke into our house and it took a lot of our belongings. One of them was in my room and he took quite a lot of stuff. He even took my computer. I had a lot of schoolwork inside there. But, um, my father tried calling the cops, but he wasn't quiet enough, and let's say that he didn't got lucky. That's how my father passed away. The robbers must have heard him talking on the phone. Pretty sure they threatened to kill him if he wasn't quiet enough. Well, um, I'm not talking about that anymore. That cuts me real deep. Deep inside me that I cannot even feel that anymore. Huh. That's why I don't choose to hang out. Ever since my father passed away, everyone just felt sorry for me. They all just kept saying it. We're sorry that that happened, but it just got me even more. Sp I don't want to talk about it anyway. Let's just leave it. Uh, that's why I've been like this ever since. I don't go and make friends anymore. I lost all my friends along the way. Years later, my mom wanted me to make friends. 
She was tired of me being all sad and depressed, noticing that there's a hole in my chest that I cannot fill, but I, all I filled it was with nothing but hatred and depression. My life has been nothing but an empty hole in the wall. Well, um, trying to find true happiness, but I just can't. Everywhere I go, I just see others being happy, except for me. Things just get really impossible. <sighs> Everything can just feel like a maze. A maze that you can never find the exit. And once I reach the end of that maze, there's still a door, but I never had the key to unlock it. It's just an expression. It's not that much of a deal. <sighs> I don't know. I haven't hung out with my friends since my father. Things are just black and white to me. That's my vision of stuff around me, but I don't want to feel like this anymore. Ever since our parents found each other, we became step-siblings. But maybe, maybe we can just start a connection. I think it's worth a try. Well, mom and dad I did left me a shopping list and I have to go shopping tomorrow. Do you want to come with me? And um, after that, do you want to go and get something to eat? And there's also that nearby theater. And... Uh, we can also play video games. That new one just came out. It's the game called Persona 5 Strikers. I love it. I already like put 13 hours into it and I'm still enjoying it. And I also will um I'm looking forward to play Little Nightmares 2. And I'm already dinging a lot of hours into Neo. And I also wanted to buy a remastered collection of the Bioshock franchise. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to watch new movies coming soon, you know. Well, um, I already seen like a lot of them. But, um... Except I'm not much into the movies, I, well, I do watch old movies, yeah, um, well, I, well, I used to watch these old classic Disney movies, I loved watching Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella and Lilo and Stitch and the Toy Story collection, I even loved Toy Story 4. It was, it was really nostalgic for me. Uh, yeah, we can watch Disney movies or, well, we can just sit and talk, I guess. Uh, well, we only been step siblings for two months. Well, um, I'm sorry that we never talked much. I'm just, I'm not into talking. 
I don't like to talk. Um, yeah, that's because you were talking about you having a bad dream and that. Well, no, never mind. Uh, it feels... Uh, cannot name this feeling. Well, it's just that I've noticed that you've been hugging me ever since you entered my room. And I... I think it feels... I don't know, it doesn't feel weird. I think it feels... I think it feels nice. Well, that's all right. It's, I think it's fine. We're not blood related. Well, um, I kind of had this feeling. Well, um, this hug reminded me of someone I used to date. We've been dating for a month, and yeah, I kind of confessed, but for her, things didn't work out because she said we were not made for each other. So she just ended the relationship. Well, I know I'm not stupid, but... You can say it if you want. Do you have a crush on me? Oh, the fact that you broke into my room and got on my bed. Yeah, it's very awkward. Well, I think it's already too late to turn back. <sighs> but I don't know about this. I just, I don't want to be heartbroken. I'm just scared. I could already know when mom and dad could react. If they see us like this. Um, okay. Oh, God. Can I just turn around? Um, can I ask you a question? How long have you been feeling like this? Wait, really? No. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. So, um, I guess this is a uh, awkward but lovely moment, don't you? Think? to rush it in, I was already aiming for you. <laughs> um, well, we can talk about it in the morning. Let's get some rest. Um, here, you can snuggle with me. <laughs> 